Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Today is Wednesday, March the 18th, 2020, and the grand finale day of Season of the Granny. Uh, I was tagged by Krista of The Secret Yarnery, and I uh, bring to you today some of my finishes. Um, it is a quite warm day here in uh, Pinson, Alabama, and I have been quite unhospitable. Welcome <laughs> to my new subscribers, and welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I think we are going to have 80 degrees today. Um, I apologize for not having been here for a while, but I have been sick. I had the flu. Uh, I was diagnosed last Tuesday uh, with the flu, and um, my the fever was really high, and it tried to kill me again, just like it did two years ago. So um, I apologize for any... Um, I've always called them fever blisters, cold sores, or whatever. I tried not to um, show them as as much as I can, but a lot of us get them, and I know that. But still, uh, that's another reason I haven't been on. I was trying to wait on those things to heal. But today's season of the granny. I can't not be here. <laughs> so come on up to the castle, get you something to drink, and I will show you my finishes for this time. I had much bigger plans for my season of the granny than I actually ended up with, but um, uh, the couple any excuse to do right. But a couple of weeks before uh, that, I was trying to get ready for a craft festival, the Daffodil Festival, um, which now has been canceled. But then again, after being sick and all that, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> so. Um, but there was about four to five days that I just couldn't even crochet. I couldn't, the fever had my head so messed up that I, could, I just couldn't think. Um, and I'd pick something up, even just as simple as a little bookmark or something, and couldn't, couldn't finish it or even think about it. Like a little bookmark with two rounds in it, and I couldn't do that. So if that gives you any idea. So anyway, what shirt have I got on today? have on my heart <laughs> and um, what my main thing I wanted to do was or my main granny thing I'll go ahead and show you is my beret my granny beret and um, it's not terribly slouchy I probably could have stood a little bit more but I don't know that I will if I ever put my hair up in it and decide I don't know, my hair would probably fit up in there. Um, but this is the first beret or hat or anything I've ever made that the band actually fit. I mean, it might, I can't really tell. It may cause a, a mark on my head, <laughs> but maybe not. It's not really tight. Um, but anyway, so this is a pattern by um, Yolanda Soto Lopez and it's about six years old and I I knew I wanted to make this and this funky funky you know I told y'all go funky or well Z tells y'all go funky or go home but my idea of the people that I tagged um, was Mary Irish Mary uh, Mary of Moonfire Crafted. Haven't seen much of her either since she moved. Uh, I hope everything's okay with you, uh, Mary. Um, and who all did I? Who all did I tag? Mary, Mary, and uh, Seta, Seta Lou. <laughs> um, and who else? Amanda of Yarn Snob. Um. Well, I'll just tell you who all. I've seen people posting some along the way. I have notes. <laughs> well, let's see here. So, yes, my pattern is, um, it almost looks like strawberry shortcake. So, Bonnie would like that, probably. Uh, 
but this yarn is very, very old. And I will just show you how old here in a minute. Okay, so here is who all I challenged. Mary with Mary's Crochet Chit Chat in Northern Ireland. Mary, Moonfire Crafted. These are the ones that accepted the challenge. Laura, Mad Mimi's Crochet. Settaloo with Setta's Place. And uh, some that I uh, tagged that never responded or Cozy Cottage, Hannah with Cozy Cottage, said that she didn't have anything gritty on her hook, but I know that she's been quite busy. Uh, she has uh, started a new church in, I believe she's in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, so I know she's been quite busy, but I tagged her anyway. <laughs> Z, uh, Zelda, NRJ3. Love you, Z. I think D tagged her. Rosina of Zines and Roger. Um, I never see, saw a response from her, but I did do, am working on one of her patterns uh, that is granny. She does a lot of granny stuff. I love a lot of her, all of her patterns. Zach Stout, never heard from him. Kim with Blue Cherub. I didn't see that she responded. Amanda with Undercover, Undercover Yarn Snob. She commented, but I didn't ever hear, a, hear an exception. <laughs> Lenny, Candy Golf Creations. Haven't seen anything uh, from her concerning grannies. Leah with Leah's Handmade Crafts. Uh, she does granny things, but I'm not sure that I've seen her accept my challenge. Uh, but I know that she's been dealing with quite a bit here lately. So, a couple of you are excused. <laughs> Rest of you are not. Show me your grannies. Let me see your granny granny. So anyway, let me show you my granny granny. This one here, like I said, is a pattern from, and I think it's just called Easy Granny Beret or something. I went through about three different tutorials before I found this one. And the other two was doing like six, let's see. Kind of got the Beretta look going right there, right? I want a Beretta hat. That I want the beret that's got the bill on it. Anyway, so a couple of them that I saw started with six. Six in the middle. And then um, they would increase, but they started bowing up. I went up and down with yarn, uh, hook size and everything and just couldn't find what I wanted. So then I finally found this pattern and I was like, oh, Yolanda Soto Lopez. Uh, she's going to have a good pattern regardless. I think her channel is all crafts channel, is it? But this pattern is like six years old. So I will put that on there. And it is bright, bright. Now to me, it looks more coral, coral-ish. But in the camera, and everybody says it looks more hot pink and everything. But I got this yarn. Camera's up there, Cindy. I got this yarn at the thrift store. Excuse me. Here in Pinson. Um, and the color is shaded pinks. And this is how old it is. TGNY. Ombre Sayel. It doesn't even have a yardage on there. 100% Orlon acrylic, so I will have to find out what that is. Knitting worsted size. So worsted, I guess that would tell me that it's number four, right? Try to cover up my. <laughs> so, anyway, anybody remember TGNY? And this is all the info we got on it. Distributed by TJY Stores. Um, machine wash using warm water and a detergent. Machine dry at the regular setting. Always machine dry after machine washing. Hand washing and drying. Wash gently in warm water using a detergent. Rinse well in cold water. Squeeze and roll in towel. Remove excess, excess moisture. 
oops, leaning forward, sorry. After spreading sweater flat on a smooth surface, bunch it into shape and allow to dry thoroughly. Do not stretch sweater or hang to dry. Please note, Sayel knitwear must be absolutely dry to ensure, I need my specs and some more sunlight, dry to ensure automatic blocking if stretched during wear or washing. Wet thoroughly, squeeze and tumble dry. In home or coin operator dryer to reshape. I don't see a copyright date. DuPont certification mark for yarns meeting in fiber content specifications. Yeah, I don't see a copyright date or anything, but I bet I could look it up. For sweaters, afghans, and fashion accessories. Anyway, just thought that would be a nice blast from the past. So don't go out looking for this, but I do love this color. I just wish I had more of it. This is all I have left, and it's attached to the project that I was making to match my hat. Okay, so moving on. I didn't realize these other things could actually fit into my Season of the Granny, but one thing you have already seen is my huge granny bag that I made by Sarah Satch. My insert doesn't fit quite properly because I didn't make my squares the right size. I have more inserts that probably would fit better, but I've been toting projects around in this, so I don't mind a bit. Anyway, so you make five squares, and then you just single stitch them, single crochet them together, and then you put one of these um, inserts from the dollar store in it for more sturdy, uh, like if you don't want things rolling around in your floor for a market bag. And then the handles are quite sturdy. I only did like three rows, but they're still pretty sturdy. I haven't tested them yet with weight other than a bunch of yarn projects. So there was another of my granny projects. Hashtag season of the granny. And then in preparation for the craft fair, I made quite a few. And I don't know where they all are because I had two more that I know of. Okay, so this is some kind, this is Premier Yarn. I made four of Z's Granny Loveys. So this is one, and this is Premier Yarn, and it's really soft, and I'm not sure what the name of it is. If I can find the ball bands and all of my stuff that I was making, craft fair stuff, I was just like throwing ball bands over because I wanted to do these like for my podcast and everything. But I wanted to wait and do a full crafty cra Daffodil Festival podcast. So there's one, and it's really cute. It's kind of a pink, white, and blue. And I think I got two of these out of one of those cakes of that. Um, but I don't, I don't know where the other one is. I can't find it. And then I got two blue ones, and I don't know where the other one is. Um... They were all in the same tote. Now I can't find them. So there's another one. I think the, um, this is some, also some thrift store blue. But now for this yarn to be so old and to be so old acrylic, it's not that bad. But I'm not, I don't have very sensitive skin as far as like, it wouldn't rub a raw spot on me or anything if I was to wear it as a scarf or a sweater or anything. It might get hot because this 80 degree day, this little bit of a hat is, is getting warm already. <laughs> so there's another levy. I had two each of these and they are in that tote somewhere. I just apparently didn't uncover them. So there's four that that one. And then I had this one. This is a uh, I'm not sure what this blue is unless it's, I don't think it's McCall. This is a thrift store turquoise. And then this blue right here is the blue from um, the Yip Yip that is like Mainstay's Royal Blue maybe. 
around the edge. Okay, and then I had this one. This was just a yarn bee, um, the end of a yarn bee roll, something berry. And then this one is, uh, this one's mainstay, uh, I'm not sure what that is, but then this is just a soft pink, because all of these really are just uh, ends of rolls, like scraps, -ish, scraps. This is a mainstay, like I said, but I can't remember. It may just be shades of purple or violet shades. If I can find you, uh, yarn bands, I will let you know. So I made, let's see, two, four, six of these. Two of them's not here, but the other two are pretty much like this, except I think the inside starts with um, like the light blue and then goes out to this pink being on the edge. Now maybe it starts with this white because this is all from the cake and then another blue one like this. Okay, so there's six of those and my bag and my hat. And then um, the other one I was doing, I took this apart and put it back together so many times because I wanted a little purse to match my beret, right? A groovy granny of some sort. So I started out just making a granny square in this color, shaded pinks. Um, and then I was just gonna make like two granny squares or three, I was gonna make one for the front and back and one for the flap and make me a little purse uh, with just a little strap, just like a little hippie purse, like a smaller messenger bag type thing. Um, but then I wanted to add this blue. Nah, -uh. same turquoise that's in that other one right there. So then I wanted to add these, this to it to kind of make it still kind of more funky and colorful. So um, then I put a round of it just on the granny square, and then I decided that maybe it wasn't gonna, um, it wasn't going to make it as far as I wanted to. So then I balled it back up. I mean, I made like three different types of things out of this. And of course, um, I'm gonna have to stop for just a brief moment and take care of the mister. Let me just get him out real quick because I can't pause. I'm so sorry. One moment, please. Okay, excuse me, excuse me while I wiggle back into here <laughs> without knocking my castle over. Okay, so where was I? Okay, so I made like three or four different little purses, started three or four different little purses and uh, just couldn't decide what I wanted. So what I have come up with is one of my favorite Zines and Rogers, Zines and Roger patterns for the granny market bag. If I'm not mistaken, this is the market bag that I gave the packages away for a while back. And, except I'm not gonna make it as large as a market bag, I'm just gonna use it like for a, uh, well, however far my yarn goes. So that's the bottom of it, of course. And then I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna do about five rounds of this and then do two or three rounds of the blue. I have more of the blue somewhere. I got it at a thrift store also, but it didn't have ball bands. And uh, one of the balls was actually already made up, started into a sweater that I took apart. So here comes the mister wanting back in, I think. But anyway, um, so this is my season of the granny. Um, anybody that I tagged in it, I do uh, 
thank you, Krista, from The Secret Yarnery for tagging me in this. I wish I could have gotten more out. And I tell you, um, and if I can find some funky colors, I'm still going to get what I originally started with. So I'm not going to tell you yet what that may be. Even though today is the end of the season of the granny, it is something I still want to do. So um, as a crocheter and to rock, rock my stitching. <laughs> to rock my hooking. And that'll make so much more sense too. But anyway, so if you have made anything, please share it on the Cindy Hearts Crochet Facebook page, which will be linked below using hashtag uh, season, uh, hashtag season of the granny. And um, I believe also creative grandma, uh, Glenda Winkleman was creative grandma and Krista of the Secret Yarnery, Yarnery has Instagram and Facebook pages if you would like to probably post your stuff on there. But go ahead and post it in the Sandy Hearts Crochet Facebook page. I would love to see what everybody's making. I've been seeing a few along the way, but haven't seen quite a bit of everybody's yet. But I will be posting my pictures individually, and then once I finish my um, bag, uh, I will see how it matches. Uh, and I thought that blue would just set it off. To me, that's just kind of lovely and Rosina of Zines and Roger would love these colors she loves some color Zelda Zelda Lou Zelda NRJ3 would also love these colors so anyway show me your granny granny show me your granny granny and don't be hoarding the toilet paper and I hope everybody's healthy and safe don't be out in all those crowds and um, wash your hands <laughs> I swear I, now I I don't have food all the time around here, but I do usually have essentials like TP and stuff. So I haven't uh, had to um, suffer through the extinction of that source. And luckily for me, I've hoarded phone books since 1986. So there's plenty of wiping material around here. But I tell you what, I just almost cringe watching the news and glass going to drive me crazy. Just watching the news. This is my last little thing. Hang on, bub. Hang on. I'm right here. Hang on. Just watching the news and everything, I tell you what, I just about cringe every time I feel a poop coming on. A poop coming on. I feel a poop coming on. There you go. Share your toilet paper, people. All that food you're hoarding, though, you may need it. I don't know. So, anyway. All righty. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my video. And Goliath wants in now. Uh, I saw where Krista said that they will start a new or she will start a new challenge tomorrow, March 19th, 2020. So I will also be a part of that. And I have quite a bit of happy mail that I finally uh, have gotten in the past uh, couple of weeks that I've not shown yet just because I've been so sick. Uh, yesterday, I believe, was the first day I have felt like I would be amongst the living still. So anyway, I hope everybody's safe and healthy, and show me a granny. Hashtag Season of the Granny. Love y'all. See you later. Say bye, Goliath. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.